guys welcome you all to our channel i am tozy b and uh, thank you guys for joining in for watching for sharing for subscribing we appreciate your comments guys thank you very much today i have a special guest guys i have my son jb with me today i am not with jb thank you thank you, <laughs> thank you guys as we all know, we are in unprecedented times in our lives. All around the world, things have not been easy, especially for the students. Schools were closed on the 20th of March, 2020. That's six months ago. And then another announcement came that GCSC and A-level students were not going to sit in for their summer exams this year because of coronavirus outbreak i'm going to ask jb some few questions about how he felt about the whole situation jb please answer your best <laughs> be honest and tell me I'll how try. you felt okay I'll try, I'll try, yeah. okay my first question is how did you feel when it was announced by the government that gcse's a levels exams in your case were cancelled how did you feel uh that first when we first found out i can't lie there was a i had a massive weight i had a massive weight coming off my <laughs> shoulder like i like it felt good like I, everyone was happy you know i was we, we, like me and the man then was all like calling each other was like what is this true was all going to all, all of that it wasn't even a couple hours hit and then was thinking if we're not doing exams. exams. How? I live in a market. Yeah. But so that's, that's when the overthinking started happening. And then but the excitement that's when that was weight, there. yeah, the that's... weight started coming back. So okay. I just felt like wow. yeah. the excitement the was still there. Yeah, it was good. So the second question. So another announcement came that students will be given a predicted grade based on coursework. Mm. mock exams mm. teachers assessment so how did you feel about that that's when when yeah. when we found out that that's when we mm. realized yeah it's not just gonna be easy like we're all gonna get into uni yeah that's when all the overthinking and drama like a couple I, even some of my friends who were girls yeah they mm. told me that they cried when they found out i was like what because you I don't was, know yeah how you were doing isn't yeah. it yeah yeah exactly year? everyone yeah emo the number one um what people say is that emotions were high like people didn't know how to feel people didn't know how to feel so literally i can't even explain it like it was, i can't say i was happy or i can't say i was sad so what was like, your was worry exactly my... that your teacher has to assess what were you more concerned about <sighs> Just... because you've known this teacher for two these teachers for a year or for two yeah actually it's from september for till for... yeah for a while i think like if i try hard i can get good grades in it but mm. this was a thing where it was out of my hands so whether the teachers liked me or not because i went college i did my a levels in college mm -hmm. instead of sixth form like this so college yeah. is a lot more lenient yeah so it's just i won't lie i i wasn't i wasn't as focused as i could have been because obviously it's a new environment you, you know meeting new people different experiences and then you just get lost but yeah. But you did your mock exams, you were serious revising for your mock exams and stuff. Yeah, the mocks, it was only the mocks that I, um, that I was confident about because they said they were going to grade them in homework as well, isn't it? Yeah. They said they were going to grade homework, all of that stuff. So I didn't know whether they were going to use that to predict my grade or not. Mm. So, so how I did didn't... you feel? How did you feel? Were you happy? I was just anxious. I can't lie. I wasn't nervous. I don't get nervous ever. I don't ever get nervous, yeah. But I was just, I was anxious over everything, over anything. I wasn't happy, yeah. sad. But yeah, that's the best emotion I could describe it. Okay, yesterday, it was your ex the results day without exams, guys, without exams. So mm. I know that um, I set my alarm for 8 30 as I work from home, but I could hear JB and his brother, they were like preparing to go out. So the next thing, when I woke up, the house was quiet, no one in the house. So you went for exams. How was, how did you feel or how were you feeling when you and your brother and your friend were going to the college to get your results yeah. without exams? Yeah, results day was the only, I would say, 
I would say the whole of lockdown, I wasn't really thinking about it like, like I think what it was is that the whole of lockdown, I was I was just distracting myself from results day until the very day. That's when it hit me when I woke up that morning. I didn't get much sleep. I didn't get much sleep that night. But that was when I woke up. That's when I realised, yeah, like this is, this is that it's happening. Like that was probably, I was probably, yeah, I was probably a little nervous yesterday. I was probably you a see? little nervous. A little, a tiny bit. But yeah, yeah, I was just... So you're, you I don't think I ate as well. I don't think I ate that morning as well. I think I just left with with, um, with your brother. You went with your brother mm. for emotional support. Or what? why did you take a brother? Yeah, with you? emotional support. That's my guy. Shout out, shout out. I know you're editing this as well. Shout out. <laughs> <you. laughs> okay. I can't lie. Yeah, I got. I actually got a text that I was accepted into uni before I actually went for my results. And when I saw that text, I showed my brother instantly. This guy, he picked me up. Like it was, <laughs> I, it that seeing that test because we got that like maybe half an hour before we actually left um, to go for my results. Seeing that text did ease a lot. Like from that text, I was good. At that point, I almost didn't even go. Like there was a point I was like, <laughs> is there even a point in me even going and check my results? But yeah. And you got your grades, and you were happy with them. God so much for your achievement. Well done, and congratulations, congratulations mm -hmm. to everyone out there who has worked so hard in the previous years and they achieve whatever they want but if you haven't please go and appeal as the government is asking in less than four weeks actually or five weeks you are going back to yeah, classes and this time not secondary school not a levels higher education what did you learn from this whole situation of covid from when from the beginning of this academic year 2020 till the end and what will you do differently that you are going back to classes i learned a lot i'll be real i learned a lot the main the main thing that i learned is just to from the jump just to focus like i'm not saying you have to do um because obviously i'm not saying you have to do the same amount of you have to put the same amount of energy into education as you would like the whole year into um for example exam season mm -hmm. but just from the start like if if i did if i did like even even two hours um of a vision yeah mm -hmm. let's mm -hmm. say two hours of vision each subject a week yeah that would have that would have set me up for an even better position because then mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't have even been anxious for those other things. i probably would have just been um that i probably would just been calm but yeah just to try from the jump from the very start and not mess about but also you can still have fun at the start because i know a lot of people going into uni college whatever like they still want to enjoy their food because they're meeting new people whatever and stuff like you can still do all of that but yeah balance that's the word balance balance yeah okay balance. it's all about balance from the start as well don't yeah. don't think exams are months away because look at this situation yes crept on, it crept off on everyone it crept off on everyone wow wow <laughs> from day one you have to focus you have to make sure that you set yourself times for revision because you don't know what is around the corner you don't mm. know what will happen in the next three months that three months you could be graded from that three months you went into classes i say this as well if you if you plan to go uni this year or next year like you don't have to go uni. I would say, if it makes sense for what you want to do as a mm. person, you don't have to. But like, as well, if you don't, if you didn't get, if you didn't get into your chosen uni, there's always time. There's always time. I know. I know some people didn't get into their chosen uni as well, like, or their firm choice, or mm. or any of them choice. But there's always time. You can take a listen. It's not the end of the world. I think another reason was um, why I wasn't stressing, was mm. because I always had in my head everything happens for a reason. Mm. And it's, and um, God has a plan, mm. so it was them two things that was always in my head. So if I got accepted, yeah, I don't want to say I was too nonchalant or I didn't or I was just didn't care about it. But that was that was the thing that put my mind at ease. So you just mm. got to find, you know, you just got to find something like that to yeah. put your mind at ease times like this. Well, thank you, thank you, JB, thank you for that uh, encouragement, guys, young boys, young girls. Day one we have to focus as far as the parents are praying aunties uncles are praying for you do your part as well when you go out there and work hard and put god 
at the center of everything that you do. We appreciate all your hard work. Congratulations to you all, GCSEs, A-levels, wherever part of the world you are. I know that in South Africa, some people went, did their graduations. Congratulations, guys. Well done in every part of the world where you are. Thank you and congratulations to you. Now that you are going to uh, campus, you are moving out of moving the house. Out. Let's move. JB. Listen, listen, I'm not this guy no more. I'm not him. I'm not him. I'm a big man. Listen. Now I'm that JB, you are like moving touches, like, out of my house to the campus, mm. you have to learn to do some quick cooking because when I'm cooking, you are not joining me. I can cook some. I can cook, you know. JB, you're gonna miss some food. What do you want me to teach you? Quick meals, cheap and quick so meals. Quick. What do you want? What will you miss when you leave the house? Your stir fry. Teach me how to cook your stir fry. Guys, your special stir fry. JB has spoken. The best stir fry I've ever The next said. video, I'm going to show you how to do quick stir fry spaghetti stir fry. Please watch our next video thank you guys for watching for subscribing for sharing for liking our videos once again thank you to jb for sitting in charity seat thank you